Have you ever tried to install Microsoft Project on your Mac only to realize it is simply not available? Well, Microsoft Project is one of the most powerful tools for managing projects, but historically, it's been exclusive to Windows. But many users still prefer the unique functionality of this software. In this video, I will show you how to access Microsoft Project in your Mac using Project Online and even converting it to desktop like app as you can see here. And let me actually open this app to show you how this look. And there we go guys, here we can see our Microsoft Project is running on Macintosh. Now let's talk about how it became possible to run Microsoft Project on Macintosh. Well, I would say this is not the standard version but this is project online but when we talk about project online it comes with all latest features and update which microsoft has to offer and let me actually open my browser so that i can show you what is difference between project standard and project online so let me quickly type here project standard 2024 and seems like this is the link so let me click on it and there we go so here we can see uh, this is the price that one need to pay uh, if somebody would like to buy microsoft project standard but the problem with microsoft project standard is that it first of all only available for windows and it restricts you in terms of collaboration because this particular variant is only applicable for small project i would say which is managed by single project manager but let's say you are working on a larger project then there is another version uh, which is more expensive known as Microsoft Projects Professional that gives you even collaborate with your another colleagues. However, when we talk about online features, then all these variant lacks when compared with Project Online. So when I compare this subscription based plan with one time purchase, so you will realize that the number of features that are available with let's say Project Plan 3 or even Project Plan 5 they are even higher when compared with the greatest offering from a one-time purchase which is project online so i would say if you want to run microsoft project in mac and choose subscription based plan so first of all it gives you freedom not to become device dependent and you can assess your scheduling software from anywhere without even carrying the device and here one can see it not only covers these essential functionality of microsoft project but comes with online features as well so the product that i was showcasing you is planner and project plan 3 now what i'm gonna do here is let me quickly open and show you how it look if somebody would like to access online so one need to visit this link which is project.microsoft.com and once you buy you need to provide your credential and then you can uh, you know do sign in and if you are interested and you would like to and avail one month of free trial which can be extended to two months then check out the video that i have created in the description down below now again let me give you a quick overview of this whole interface so uh, on the top here you can click on new plan which will uh, take you to these template page and then from here based on your requirement you can choose any one and i would say this one is good for agile software development because um here you will find the interface look like kanban board uh, which is used in agile methodology and uh here you see the templates um for example this sprint planning which is more aligned toward agile methodology and it's not like one may not able to manage their project using uh, this kind of approach but generally when we talk about mechanical or civil project we know the scope is defined first and then we work on that blueprint however in case of agile approach you know the things are not like that not only you're gonna get this sprint planning board but here you can also see the timeline chart uh, which gonna give you a, at a glance view and i would say in case of chart there are certain limitations because you do not have flexibility like jira to create your own uh, chart because Microsoft project strength lies in mechanical or civil kind of project, but still they did a quite good job in bringing new capabilities for agile approach. And not only you can create timeline, but uh, you also have option to create a new roadmap. So just by clicking on it, 
you can include project or key date for example i'm gonna do ideation screening and i'm gonna put the key deliverable date for that is 15th of december and not only you can add key date like this but you also have an option to even include a project or even azure board now let's talk about waterfall model or i would say the project that most of mechanical and civil project manager use so to assess that one we need to click here on project online and i would say this one going to resemble what we see in desktop interface so in order to create that kind of project we can click here on create or import project so let's click on it and now here you're gonna get a two different style which is again um, you know we can create a three type of project inside microsoft project so you see in terms of uh, features it is much more featureful than uh, standard desktop application so here we have got this sharepoint task list type of approach where uh, if you have worked with microsoft list you may be aware of how it works so here you can give your project a name for example project x and if you click on finish then it will create sharepoint list kind of project so let's have a quick look here also and there we go we have finally created it which took some time and here we can see the whole timeline looks like this and here in the bottom one can upload document related to this project and let's start by editing task so let's click on edit the task which is again kind of list and that you will realize when you click on this plus button here you're gonna get same sharepoint list kind of interface where one can add a new columns so let's say i would like to add a budget column which i would like to define for each task that i'm going to add and now that adding task is pretty easy again i'm gonna write here task one and then i'm gonna mention the due date here and then I'm gonna mention to whom I'm gonna assign this project to, which in this case I can only assign to myself. And then I'm gonna mention the budget as the following. So in this way guys, we can add task. And then here you can also see the timeline of which task is being added to what date. Now I'm gonna add task two and let's add another due date here. So this time I'm gonna go to January, 2025 again i'm gonna assign it to myself so i would say this particular version is more beneficial when you are working in a team right now apart from adding task here you're gonna have this document where you can upload document you also have option to add a notebook which is really nice where you can take all your important notes or even let's say meeting notes at a single place then here we have got this calendar where one can add some important event for example certain milestone date and if i click here on project i can see all my projects being listed here then if i click on project detail let's see what it come up with so here i can see my project detail approvals and so on now let's talk about the main project type of which is enterprise type of project that we generally see in case of desktop application so if you'd like to create that kind of project, I would say that is also uh, pretty easy. For that, let me actually go back to projects. And now here I'm gonna click on new. And this time I'm gonna click on enterprise project. Now this time I'm gonna create uh, a very traditional project that we generally see in our application. So I'm gonna type here product A launch okay and i'm gonna give the starting date as this and then uh, from here you can assign owner to this project so let me actually add myself because there is no other resource and here one may provide description for example scheduling of project a launch and we would like to complete this by so and so dates and then uh, we are also expecting the product a to have following features xyz <laughs> and so on i mean it's up to you what you would like to add it here now all we need to do here is we need to click on finish 
and there we go finally we can see the kind of project that generally we see in desktop application and if you click here on the top here you will see exactly similar kind of menu and interface where uh, one can add or schedule task so let me put here task one let's say is idea screening and i'm gonna say it's going to take two weeks so here you can see um it worked the way we would want it to be and then i'm gonna start it by today and seems like we already have provided duration so it, uh, it should actually um, take details by itself and then here one can add resource and then here i'm gonna add task name which is uh, concept finalization again for this i'm gonna take two days and then i'm gonna start it after this one so uh basically i can also define a predecessor so instead of providing date here i'm gonna add predecessor and here in terms of schedule i'm gonna make it auto schedule for this one and this one as well and let's provide the connection that we would like to add here so in this way guys we can add tasks to our microsoft project this time i have defined it will take only two day to complete the concept finalization at the same time we can only start it after the idea screening get completed and in order to do that what we can do is we can apply links and in order to apply links so what we can do here is i'm gonna press control button and i'm gonna select both these tasks and now if i go here on the top i can click on link task and in this way guys here we can also define a link to this task and apart from that we also can add this to roadmap which is really nice and seems like first we require to publish or save our project so let me click here on save and now i guess i can add it to our roadmap so let me again try to add it in roadmap and still it says publish so we also require to click on publish and now you can see here it says processing and now it is saved now let me again select these both and click on add to roadmap and since maybe i have not defined any roadmap for this so i can also define roadmap now let me again go back here on project so this was a very quick glimpse of how one can work inside microsoft project in macintosh now let me also tell you one more thing let's say you would like to create it like an app for example here uh you can see i have created it as an app in macintosh for that uh what we can do here is uh we can download microsoft edge browser which is i would say straightforward just you need to type microsoft edge uh download and then um here is microsoft edge browser just download it and after you successfully download and install it uh what we need to do here is uh you may require to run it and then um let's say i'm gonna open the same project.microsoft.com and let me quickly log in back again now if i go here on the top click on these three dots now apps here i can install this page and app which is pretty straightforward as you can see here so in this way guys you not only can access microsoft project in your macintosh but you can also install it as an app and that's also wrap up this video i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content related to productivity and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye